All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag Academy episode. This is the big one, it's the final. We are down to the last two Academy trialists. Okay, we have got Jack Durkin and Scott Pollock. One of these guys is gonna be winning 3,000 pound and a year contract with Hashtag United. We've got lots to get through today, including an epic match as Team Scott take on Team Jack. We've got not only some Hashtag United players coming to fill out those teams, but also some of the other Academy boys are coming back to help out the lads. Jack and Scott are gonna be running these teams, managing them, captaining them, everything. We're gonna keep an eye on their performance, see how their teams get on in the game. But before we do all that, we're gonna actually find out more about our finalists as we return to their hometowns. So I live in Lincoln with my family. I go to sixth form in the little place where I live, which is Highcombe. Uh, do three A levels, which is PE, ICT and media. Uh, I also have a job at B&Q. It's good for a part-time job. I work 12 hours a week, so I get obviously a decent amount of money at the end of the month for me to do what I want with, which go out with my friends, go out with my family. Uh, don't sponge off mum and dad as much anymore. How do you describe Jack? Massively outgoing, loves life, um, always plays football with a smile on his face. Uh, pretty much how he goes through his life, really. And a really, really um, great brother to, our, to be fair to his little sisters and his big brother. So he's just a lovely guy. Very funny, very nice to be around. Outgoing, uh, always wants to win. So obviously with the competition in mind, that's a good thing. Obviously, football was a big thing for me. Um, from my, well, as I've been growing up, so all I've wanted to do, I've been at academies. Something I want to do in the future is either working, working with media or working media in sport. He loves, he loves his YouTube, he loves his football. So to combine the two, it's just a dream for him. You know, I don't think he ever thought that he could do his YouTube and his football together. Um, so to do both of those things for him, just fantastic. It's been a bit of a roller coaster, to be honest. People have sort of like, got to know me as a footballer. I think in the first few episodes I did okay footballing wise then obviously it got to the push-ups <laughs> which obviously everyone got a bit of an opinion on there but it's been absolutely amazing it's like I wouldn't have changed it for the world I wouldn't have changed what I'd done maybe the push-ups a little bit but um, no it's been unbelievable and just one of the greatest experiences that I'll probably have for a very long time. I mean it just gives him an opportunity to go and do something different experience new people um, and play football as well, so do something he loves. You don't get many opportunities in life to do something you really enjoy. He's made friends there for life, to be honest. To be in the final two of such a big thing and a big thing that's going to take off even more and more is just ridiculous. Like me, I know Scott as well. Scott's over the moon about it. Scott's a great lad. I don't really see him as competition. I see him as more of a mate, to be honest. Like just we're having a great journey together. Um, he's a great footballer, great lad. I think I'm confident in my own abilities. I know Scott's a great footballer but I don't think I'm half bad, which is always a good thing. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping just to play some football, have a good day and hopefully win the game. I live in Northampton with my mum and my dog. Uh, it's not the most interesting place to live, but there's quite a few things to do around the area. Like, well, I obviously enjoy football, so that's what I enjoy doing with my mates. I'm currently doing my GCSEs, so a lot of revision at the moment. I do, I'm studying geography, business, PE and art, so quite a wide range of subjects. Now, I said in my other interviews, quite like interested in design and architecture and interior design. That's quite interesting. It also helps that I'm doing art at GCSE, so sort of developing to, to the future really of design and stuff. Scott is um, caring, uh, thoughtful, sensitive. It can be shy at first, but when he gets when he gets to know people, gets in his sort of comfort zone, I suppose, he gets, yeah, he comes out of shell quite a bit. And ever since he's been a kid, he's just been football mad, determined, loves the sport, loves any sport. Well, we stuck a golf club in his hand at sort of eight months, nine months, um, because we'd been through um, football with Scott's older brother, and we sort of kept him away from football, actually. So then he was discovered by his um, teacher at school, primary school, and said, what team do you play for? And he's like, I don't. <laughs> I actually decided to join a team from, I think it was eight, uh, 10 years old, so it's not, not too long ago. But from then it's been quite good. I had teams such as Leicester and Northampton, so, and then hopefully hashtag. Still can't believe this happened really. Never imagined to get to the final two. When I signed up, I was 
just excited to meet the players and meet everyone there at the club and just enjoy playing football with them. So after each round and each round I keep thinking oh, I might go out this round, I might go out, but I never, never thought I'd get to the final. The um, just amazing um, boost his confidence in every area. I think the whole process has really developed him already. He still is quite quiet, but he was so shy once that there's no way he would have done anything like this. And uh, yeah, it's really, really developed him as a young man. Well, Jack was actually the first person I talked to on the first day of the trial. He was on the blue team with me. We got on quite well. But I know he's quite, he's a good player, nice lad as well. He's got quite a bit about him. It'll be interesting to find out who comes on top in the final. But I think I might have just the edge on ability-wise in football. OK, let's take a look at the lads' lineup for this big Hashtag Academy final, starting off with Team Scott. Now, Scott and Jack took turns picking players made up of Hashtag United players and Hashtag Academy applicants, and Scott picked Jacko as his goalkeeper. His back four was then Ollie Smythe, Jamel Akeem, Sam Adams and Sam Ecott. He went with the 4-2-3-1 formation with two holding midfielders from the academy, Sam Pateman and Aaron Thorpe. The three attacking midfielders were James Lovett, Scott Pollock of course himself and Theo Baker, leaving Ryan Adams up front. On the bench that left him with Faisal Mange Dog Manji, Charlie Armstrong, Lewis Preston. Hi right, guys, hope you're well. Big game today and just hopefully all you are up for it today. I think I picked probably the best team out of all of you. Ah, I could have done, definitely. Yeah, don't forget to hashtag it in this. Let's go! As for Jack's team, Andy Jeff Swartz wasn't available, so he went with the hashtag Academy goalkeeper who actually got injured in the second trial, but is now fit again. His name's Oliver Schoen. His four-man defence was Fred Mastin, myself at centre-back with Marcus Stamp and Robbie E at right-back. He also went with a 4-2-3-1 formation and he had Adam Lovett and John Dawson in holding midfield. His three attacking midfielders were Charlie Morley on the left, Kofi Shaw on the right and himself in the cam role, which means he was playing the exact same position as Scott. And up front, he went with hashtag's top goalscorer, Dan Brown. And on the bench, he had Daniel Adji, Michael Woody Wood and Wes Tanser. So then boys, we are Team Dirkin. So obviously I chose, I picked the team. I picked you all because all of you are good footballers. This could be the last time that some of us play together. So let's go out and enjoy it. Obviously I feel I have a bit of a point to prove. So let's all try and play our best. And above all else, let's not forget to hashtag it boys. Come on then, yeah, come on. Okay, let's get kickoff underway as Team Jack begin things and Jack passes to John Dawson who's going to spray it out to the left back Fred Mastin and we have started. Okay, it's Team Scott on the ball with Sam Adams who's going to play it into his brother Ryan Adams' feet. He's a nice turn there, looks for the run of Aaron Thorpe who gets it. He's going to hit one but it's quite a light shot and easy for Oliver Schoen to get it. Okay, now it's John Dawson on the ball for Team Jack. What can he do as he passes out to the left and he finds Jack Dirk in the captain. Jack is going to play it into Dan Brown, who holds the ball up, and he's going to give it back to Jack if he can get there, but Jack goes off his line quickly, and uh, no such luck for Jack Durkin. Okay, team Jack on the ball here of Robbie Yee, who's looking for uh, Jack, but he's actually passed it to Theo Baker by accident. Theo Baker plays it into Ryan Adams, who again holds the ball up very well. Brilliant turn this left-hand side by Ryan Adams. Great pace, moving away from his markers. Passes it into Theo Baker on his left foot, who scuffs the shot. That's a big chance for Team Scott. Okay, Dan Brown on the ball here for Team Jack. Gets it back from Charlie Morley. Keeps it in. What can he do as he goes? Oh, it's a brilliant through ball. Looking for Kofi Shaw, who's trying to get hold of it. Jacko does very well coming out the box there, sliding, getting the ball to Jamil Akeem. Right, here's Jack Durkin again on the ball. Looking for Dan Brown, but Jamil is super strong. Manages to force Dan Brown off the ball. And here's Ryan Adams. Looking for James Lovett in the middle here. Lovett is going to continue the run. Ryan Adams gets it back for a one-two. It's a good shot. And it's a big save from Oliver Schoen, the young goalkeeper. Sam Ecott on the throw here, throws it into the captain, Scott Pollock. What can he do on his left foot? Crosses it in for Ryan Adams, who takes it down, hits it. Oh, and it's 1-0 to Team Scott. A brilliant goal from Ryan Adams, but an all-important assist from the captain, Scotty Pollock. He'll be very happy with that, showing that he can cross on both feet. Let's take another look at that cross. There it is. Lovely left-footed ball. Ryan did very well to uh, get the ball down and then turn in the box and beat 
uh, Oliver Schoen there in goal. So it's great work from both the lads. 1-0, two-team, Scott. Big, big goal. It's Team Jack on the ball now with Adam Lovett. He's going to put it over the top. It's a brilliant ball, in fact. Over to Kofi Shaw on this left-hand side. What can Kofi do? He's going to look for Jack in the box. Oliver Smythe just does enough there to shepherd him out. And here's Sam Ecott on the right-hand side for Scott's team. Is he going to whip it in here? He is. It's a decent ball in. Oliver comes to get it. Gets something on it, but not enough. Ryan's now got it. He hits it. Oh, it's a big clearance off the line from Robbie E, who eventually gets it away. Only as far as James Lovett, who's going to shoot. And it's over the bar. Big chance there for Scott's team. And here's Scott's team on the ball again now. Theo Baker looking for Scott himself in the middle. And he's a lovely first touch to get it away from Marcus Stamp. Still Scott on the ball. He's seen a ball into Ryan Adams who's lingering at the back stick. He gets the head away. Shown's a little bit out of position. It has gone over the line but it's been given offside. What a ball though from Scotty Pollock. Uh, the ref and the linesman have said it's offside. You can see there that you could claim Ryan's got a shout of it being onside. The header was great. Just caught Ollie there out of position. No goal, not being given. Sam Pateman on the ball here for Scott's team. But it's headed away by Kofi Shaw. And it falls to Jack Durkin. He's going to send it towards the other end of the pitch. Sam Adams cuts it out, but his touch lets him down. Kofi Shaw takes it at pace down his left-hand side. He's got Dan Brown as an option in the box. Can he find him? He's going to pass the ball in instead to Charlie Morley, who hits it. What a save from Jacko. I thought that was a certain goal, but a massive save from Hashtag's goalkeeper there. Okay, here's Adam Lovett on the ball for Jack's team. He finds John Dawson in the middle. John Dawson for a good through ball. Looking for Kofi Shaw if he can beat Ollie Smythe to the ball. Kofi Shaw's going to cross it on his left foot. Surely, oh, what a touch from Jamel. Took it away from Dan Brown's feet. And eventually, Sam Ecott heads it to Aaron Thorpe. Okay, here is Aaron Thorpe now. He's going to play it out to Scott Pollock on the left-hand side. Scott, he's just being faced off by... Adam Lovett and Robbie E. Can Scott get a delivery? He's got Ryan as an option. Instead, he's going to cross it in for Jamel at the back stick. Oh, that's a big chance for Jamel. You're back in the air all day. Again, another good ball in from Scotty Pollock. Now, Oliver Schoen kicks it. Only as far as Aaron Thorpe. It's a brilliant first-time control. And he's able to take that ball down and move things very quickly. Finds Ryan Adams, who's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Gets it past Oliver Schoen, and it's a goal for Ryan Adams. Brilliant build-up from Aaron Thorpe, though. He took that ball down in the middle of the park. Played the pass, and Ryan did the rest. Now 2-0 to Team Scott. Not looking great for Team Jack at this current time. Plenty of time left, of course, as we approach the halftime whistle. But uh, this hard work in the middle there by Aaron Thorpe is what really unlocked the door. And Ryan Adams just finished things off with a brilliant finish past the keeper. So, Team Scott looking very good here. Let's take another look at that. It just dinks it over the keeper there. And Marcus Stamp couldn't get there on the line. So, 2-0. But Team Jack have got a corner here. Charlie Morley's going to deliver it. Only as far as Marcus Stamp, who manages to keep it in. Puts it back out to Charlie for a second cross. Jack Durkin with the header. Gets himself a goal. That's a big goal for the skipper. And he wants to do a special celebration by the looks of things. He got a lot of stick for his press-ups a few episodes ago. So the boys are going to do a press-up celebration. A little bit better form that time there, Jack. So well done. And it's uh, good for him to get the goal. He needed it. His team were 2-0 down. And he actually beat Scott Pollock in the air for the header, interestingly enough. So Jack showing what he can do there with that one. Making it 2-1. This game is not over. Marcus Stamp's going to run out of defence now for Team Jack. Doing very well on the ball. He finds Jack Durkin. Continues his run. He's looking for Kofi Shaw. But Jacko's just going to come and get that ball. And he's going to roll it out to Ollie Smythe. Here's Marcus Stamp again on the ball. Goes to Robbie E. Who's a bit of a short pass there to me. I get it away. And that is the whistle for half time. So, at the break, it is 2-1 to Team Scott. Still another 45 minutes to play in this Hashtag Academy final, though. That was great half, lads. 2-1. Great goals. And just keep going with the in intensity up front. We're solid at the back. They've got one set piece. They're going to come like, straight back at us. So just keep, keep on them and just don't be risky at the back. Just If there's time, just play it out. Relax, really. Play how we were playing in the first half. It's, it's going well. Just match the intensity in the first half. That's it. Well done, boys. Well done, boys. Good off. Good off, fellas. So boys, let's just keep doing what we're doing. We're obviously 2-1 down, but the two goals have gone now. We're on top. The last 10 minutes we've been on top, passing it around on the floor. It's keeping it what, what we said before the game. We didn't actually start until about 20 minutes in. So just keep doing what we're doing. Second half, just go out there, be a bit more confident, trust each other, all good players. And let's just keep, let's just try and keep pressing, keep pressing and we'll get that goal. That goal will come. Hey, come on boys. Come on. Come on boys. Okay, let's get the second half underway with Ryan Adams, who plays it back to Scott Pollock. Tries a first time ball back into Ryan Adams. I'm just going to head it towards Charlie, who puts it into Jack Durkin, who's going to go back to Woody, who's now on at right back. Plays it into Charlie. Charlie 
got Wes running past him. Instead, he's gonna try and find the run of Kofi Shaw, who is probably offside and couldn't find the back of the net anyway as Jacko saves it. Okay, goal kick here for Oliver Schoen for Team Jack. He's gonna send it to the halfway line, headed by Jamel, almost vertically up in the air. Second header won by Aaron Thorpe. Sam Pateman tries the ball over the top for Theo Baker. Chance for Theo, he's in front of Woody. Is he gonna shoot? No, he's gonna cross it on his left foot towards Ryan Adams at the back stick. Difficult volley chance, doesn't get it on target. Here's Sam Adams playing it into Jamil Akeem, centre-back partnership there, doing well so far. Sam Adams going to play it into Aaron Thorpe. Aaron Thorpe takes his time on the ball. He's a cultured midfielder, plays it into Ryan. He's continued his run. Aaron Thorpe still got it, gives it to Theo. Big chance for Team Scott. Cheeky one too, and Thorpe finishes the move, and he has been on flames in this game. That's a goal and an assist for Aaron now. That's a brilliant build-up goal. Jack obviously not happy with his team on that one. Scott, though, will be delighted as he goes 3-1 up in the final. The move was started with Aaron Thorpe. He played it into Ryan. Scott got a touch. Aaron got it back, gave it to Theo, and then Theo returned the favour with an unselfish assist there. Big goal for Team Scott. And uh, it's actually quite similar to a goal Hashtag conceded in their last game in America against Warm Ballers. So Scott is in the driving seat in this final right now. But here's Kofi Shaw trying to change things. And Daniel Adji is on the pitch as Dan Brown has gone off injured. So it's all about Daniel Adji up front now. But Jack Dirk is going to hit one from distance. And if that had been just a couple of centimetres lower, it might have challenged Jack up. And here's Woody on the ball, plays it into Jack. And he gives it to Charlie Morley on this right-hand side. Now Charlie's going to look for a long ball into the striker, Daniel Adji. Daniel gets it eventually as Charlie fails to clear it. Adji's going to get the shot away and it's in the back of the net past Jacko. And say what you want about Daniel Adji, but he gets goals. And you know what? He never forgets to hashtag it. Not anymore anyway. Not since that episode seven and he'll never forget to hashtag it again. So lovely ball in there from Charlie. And then the other Charlie, Charlie Armstrong, wasn't able to clear it. Daniel Adji pounced on that opportunity. Did very well indeed, gets himself a goal. And he scored a lot of goals in this academy series, to be fair to him. So, 3-2 now, all to play for in the final. Big goal. Durkin's loving that one. Here's Sam Ecott on the ball for Team Scott. He's going to play it straight into the feet of Ryan Adams. Ryan, just going to face up myself. He plays it into Theo. Theo takes it away from Woody, and he's going to play it back into Aaron Thorpe. Aaron Thorpe plays it straight into the foot of Ryan Adams. Brilliant turn and a lovely finish there. And that is what Ryan Adams can do. He's having a great game there. So is Aaron Thorpe. Another assist for him. What a performance from the midfield for Team Scott. There was the ball. Still had a lot of work to do, Ryan. And his turn was exemplary. Leaving Marcus Stamp with little he could do. And the finish was good enough to beat Ollie Schoen. Big goal, making it 4-2 now to Team Scott. Jacko is going to send a goal kick towards the halfway line. Jack against Scott. Jack just wins the header and it goes to Adam Lovett. What can he do? He's been a bit quiet in this game so far, but there's a decent strike on the left foot and it's a big goal. 4-3 now. The goals keep coming. What a final we have. Jack Durkin gets the assist as he headed it into Adam Lovett, who still had a lot to do. And I'm not exactly sure what's happening with Jacko on that one, to be honest, because it looked like he might have been able to save it. Here is Adam Lovett. He goes through, has a load of room, probably been left with too much room. And that shot managed to beat Jacko. Let's take a look at this replay and we'll see Jacko actually slips on the way to the ball. I think he probably would have saved it had he not lost his footing. But Lovett still had a bit to do. He did it and Durkin's buzzing with that as it's another goal for his boys. So just under 15 minutes left. Charlie Armstrong has a throw in for Team Scott. Wes Tanser is going to head it but only in the path of Aaron Thorpe who sends it towards Ryan Adams, who manages to take it out of the sky. And he's got an opportunity here for James Lovett. Can he take it down? He lets it bounce. He's against Woody here, but he's holding it up well. Maybe a little bit of a foul on Woody, but Aaron Thorpe's picking it up. Oh, it's a good hit, and it's in. The top bins. Aaron Thorpe is unbelievable. What a performance from this lad. Is he the one that got away in the academy process? We're not here looking at Aaron Thorpe. We're looking at Team Scott and Team Jack. Scott Pollock and Jack Durkin. But Aaron Thorpe has reminded everyone what we missed with him getting knocked out a few episodes ago. Some people will say the keeper could have saved it, but it was a perfectly placed shot in that top corner from Aaron. He did everything he could to make sure it was a goal. Okay, so Team Scott in a very commanding position here. And Aaron Thorpe is on the ball again. He's just going to play it back, keep possession for the Blues. Sam Adams is going to look for his brother in the box. He's got loads of room and he's headed off the post. And can he get to it? No, he can't quite get the rebound. Faisal Manji's going to whip it back in. And that goes over. Almost another goal for Ryan Adams there. Meanwhile, Adam Lovett has got a free kick. He's going to put it into the box. I'm going to head it just off target. Jack Durkin was probably in a better position for it. I didn't hear the call. 
Otherwise, I would have left it for him. But that's still a big chance for Team Jack. Uh, Team Jack on the ball again here with Fred Mastin, who loves a little run from left back. Twisting and turning. He's still got it. Sam Adams forces him out wide. The shot comes in. Jacko saves it. And uh, the chance is gone for Team Jack. Now here's Daniel Aji on the ball, who holds up the ball well, gives it to Jack. What can Jack do as he bursts down this right-hand side past Ollie Smythe? Is he going to whip it in? He does. Sam Adams gets something on it, but it falls to Kofi Shaw, who just puts it off target. Here's Scott, on the other hand, looking to add to his lead with a nice ball on the right-hand side for Faisal Manji. Can he whip it in? He's looking for Lovett in the box. It's going to fall short, though. Woody is going to go towards it, but Aaron Thorpe is there to pick it up. What can he do as he plays it back now? to Ollie Smythe. Ollie Smythe is going to look for Theo Baker, who's got loads of room, flicks it back into James Lovett, who's onside, hits it, deflection, oh my god, off Stampy and in the back of the net. I think we'll have to put that down as an own goal, because I think Lovett's strike was going off target. Scott is buzzing with that one, that's a sixth goal for his team now, who have done very well today. And let's take another look at it, you can see Lovett was onside, his shot was not going in, but after deflection off Stamp, it has found the back of the net. Not much he could do about that one. Really not long left now. Is there any chance that Team Jack can salvage some pride? Jack on the ball here. Is he going to play it into Woody? He does. Woody's going to go back to Jack for a little one-two. Jack's going to have to pump it into the box and hope something will happen. It's a great ball, in fact, to Daniel Adji. He brings it down and hits it. Oh, and it's a very, very last-minute goal. Daniel Adji with his second of the game. Fantastic finishing from him. And what a ball from Jack Durkin. That's another assist for uh, Captain Jack there. He's happy, but obviously his team is going to lose this game, so he's unhappy about that one. But he's done all he can, just as Scott Pollock has on the other team as well. They've both been very good today. Let's take another look at this ball. Jack whips it in and just beats Sam Adams. Daniel Adji controls it well. And it's a tight angle to score from, in fairness to Adji. I told you, he gets goals. He's done very well to find the back of the net with that one. And Jack, obviously, very happy to see that ball get the back of the net. 6-4 in the end. 10 goals. Lots of entertainment for the neutral. The final whistle is going to go. There's a last-minute attempt from the Blues to score from the halfway line, but it's not to be. And it's all over. So 6-4 to Team Scott against Team Jack. What a match. Ultimately, it wasn't about what team won as much as it was about how the lads performed, how they managed their respective teams, how they captained those teams. Obviously, the result plays a part, and Team Scott did get the win, and I think both lads did really well in this game. Neither of them went hiding. They both popped up with, with assists or goals, and uh, they definitely deserve to be in the final. The question is, who will win the place at Hashtag United? To help you make up your mind, let's take a closer look at Jack and Scott's performances. Okay, so we're on the Jack camera here. You can see him, he wants the ball, he's calling for it. This was earlier in that first half. He gets the ball off Dawson, plays a nice pass into Dan Brown, who looks back from The move was almost perfect. If Dan Brown's pass had a little bit less on it, Jack might have got through on goal. Here's Kofi looking for Jack, who made the run. Just couldn't quite get on the end of it. The ball maybe had a little bit too much on it there as well. Now, this was Jack's goal. Charlie put it in. Jack found himself in a good position, and he headed that ball in the back of the net. And there's the little press-up celebration which I'm sure will cause some controversy in the comments. Uh, and here's Jack on the ball again here, holding off his man, putting it through to Kofi, but Jacko, the keeper, was ready to come and claim it. And uh, here's his shot in that second half. It's actually a really decent strike, just off target from Dirk in that one. And this was a big header, because it was actually directly against his academy finalist, Scott, and Jack did win the header, put it into Adam Lovett, who then went and scored a goal straight from it. So showing in this game quite clearly he's decent in the air with a goal and an assist using his head and uh, this is a decent ball again from Jack after a brilliant run down the right hand side showing his pace he did win the pace challenge of course on episode six and unfortunately Kofi couldn't get that one on target and here was that assist in the last minute of the game as he got the ball played a one-two with Woody and he knew there wasn't much time so he had to get the ball in the box quickly but he didn't rush it he played a brilliantly placed ball onto Daniel Adji's feet who then put it in the back of the net. So a very, very impressive standout performance from Jack Durkin, who did as much as he possibly could to impress you guys who he needs to vote for him. Now then, it's time to take a look at his uh, opposing player, Scott Pollock's performance, and a fantastic assist here to get the first goal of the game as he played it in on that left foot into Ryan Adams. And we've seen multiple times in this series that Scott can play with both feet. That's a really impressive skill and a decent assist there. We see him now running through the middle of the park, looking around him, aware of his surroundings. Another fantastic ball, this time on his right foot to Ryan. 
And uh, it was put in. We know it was given offside, perhaps unfairly. But taking a look at Scott's role in that, it was very impressive. Scott, again, wants the ball at all times. Plays decent passes to his players. Uh, Ryan struggled to control that one. But he's at the heart of everything. Scott here facing off against a couple of markers in Adam Lovett and Robbie E. Not only does he keep the ball, but he plays an unbelievable cross into Jamel who can't put it away. So we know that Scott's ball playing and his crosses is very, very impressive. And uh, he's actually involved in this move only a little bit, but he keeps the ball under control enough for Aaron Thorpe and Theo to finish off the move. So Scott is in and amongst all the action for Team Scott playing in the heart of that midfield. You see his control on both feet is uh, very decent. That's a very good ball over to Faisal Manji on the right-hand side. This could have led to a direct goal. Instead, it came to the edge of the box, of course, and it eventually led to a goal in the end anyway. So a very commanding performance from Scott and Jack. Both lads couldn't have done any more, and it's nice to see them shaking hands and embracing each other at the end of the game. They've both had unbelievable series. The question is, who do you want to win the first ever Hashtag Academy series? Is it Jack or is it Scott? We played well. I thought, I genuinely thought we were going to make it. We were coming back, kept coming back, kept coming back. And I just thought at one time we'd get it, but it wasn't to be. But I can't fault the lads. Listen, none of them didn't give 100%, so that's all I'm bothered about. Everyone tried their hardest, and yeah, just it wasn't our day. I think it went great. Straight from the kickoff, we were dominant at the back, playing out from the back with Paintman and Forbes' ability in the middle, dominant in there. And Ryan Adams up front, we just counted on their defensive errors. and. Overall, it was good performance and give credit to all the lads and I think I picked my team well. Uh, I thought I did well. First 20, I was gone missing a bit. I felt like I didn't really get the ball a lot. Uh, but second half and the end of second half, obviously I grabbed the goal, which is really good for me. I think I got two assists, mate. Definitely one assist towards the end for Dan Adji. So I feel for myself, I did well. I did myself some justice at least. Um, but yeah, it's a team game. It's always going to be a team game, but just hope the audience can just see how well I did play. I think it was good. Picked up a slight injury in the first 10 minutes. Couldn't be able to run around as much as I wanted to. But yeah, I thought I've got a couple, a couple of assists, great balls, and I think, I think it was good. Just unbelievable. Like, to meet so many people that I've aspired to be like, to just role models to see, meet, has been amazing. To meet, uh, to get to know players as well, hashtag players, because I've made some great friends from it as well, and I didn't think I would. So it's just been, it will be for quite a long time, I think, one of the best experiences of my life. It's just been unbelievable. Never, when I first applied, I never think I'd even get an email back saying that I've part of it, but made it this far. Just want to go and win it now. Um, my final message would be that I've never been more passionate or determined about anything. Uh, if I was to wear that hashtag shirt, I'd wear it with pride and I'd play to my utmost. I want to represent, I've been a viewer of Spencer for so long, so I want to represent a viewer playing in the team and just don't take me so seriously. I like to have a joke and yeah, I enjoy my football. Well, I think hopefully they've seen my performance and winning challenges and it means quite a lot to me to win this and progress as a footballer and it's always been a dream of mine to become a footballer and I think through Hashtag I could develop as a player and as a person and hopefully achieve that dream. Right guys, the Hashtag Academy is over. These lads have done their talking, it's over to you now. You've got to decide who you want to win the Hashtag Academy. Is it Scott Pollock or is it Jack Durkin? I think both of them have done tremendously well. They've showed you what they're about, it's time to decide. Click the link in the description to cast your vote. Scott, it's been an absolute pleasure, well yeah. done. Jack, very well done to you as well. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the process. Let us know who wins. Next time you see us, we'll be doing a winner reveal show. So we look forward to that. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed this episode and the series in general. Subscribe for more. Hopefully we'll do another Academy process down the line. But for now, choose your winner. We'll see you next time. Until then, don't forget to hashtag it. Bye bye.